An estimated one million protesters took part in a nationwide strike to oppose the government's plans to reform France's pension regime. I'm protesting because I think the government's pension reform is deeply unjust. It will force some workers, particularly women, to work beyond the 64-year mark. And we know that healthy life expectancy in France is under 64, which means retirement will be very short for a lot of people. French President Emmanuel Macron's government has tabled a number of pension reforms, including raising the retirement age from 62 to 64. That lightning rod proposal has prompted France's powerful unions to call for several days of national strike. The first of these took place just two weeks ago, with over a million people joining the largely peaceful marches. Despite that first wave of protest, President Macron said the reforms are needed to balance out intergenerational unfairness. France's retirement age is the lowest in the EU, with only Malta and Slovakia also setting the minimum at 62 years old. Meanwhile, Denmark, Greece and Italy all have the bloc's oldest retirement age at 67. The main objective for unions and protesters is to put pressure on this place. As Emmanuel Macron's government no longer holds an outright majority in France's National Assembly, he needs to rely on a coalition with the centre-right Les Républicains party to get his legislation through. And that's what this is all about. Workers from across the country and many different industries have taken to the streets to send a clear message to their government don't touch our retirement age. Their hope is enough pressure from protesters will make some politicians think twice before helping Emmanuel Macron and his government push these reforms through. Pension reform has been a political hot potato for decades. And while tensions over French pension reform have been ongoing for years, protesters say they'll take to the streets for as long as it takes.